my brother found something. Brutal murders in a small town. I'm scared for my children. Hiding secrets of neighbors. Screaming in my face and threatening me. And as the case grew cold. From the outside in, Calvin, it doesn't look good. The News 4i team uncovered what lie beneath. This is an attack on the entire legal system. And exposed the murder of a federal witness. My brother should be here. Calvin should be here. And it all began here on South Main Street in tiny Pembroke, Kentucky, population just 900. If you look from above at the proximity of the murder scenes, you understand why this town was changed forever. After all, three of their own were killed. The Phillips, who lived in this house, and Ed Dancero, who lived right next door. Then, right across the street, the SWAT team raided the house of their neighbor. But after that, nothing. No arrests, no suspects, no information for three and a half years. So the News 4i team decided we would launch our own investigation and ultimately reveal the secrets and twists and turns of the murder of a federal witness. We are heading to Calvin Phillips' home. To understand what happened before the murders on November 19th, 2015, you have to go back to the past. Today's date is November 2nd, 2015. And to what happened when private investigators went to the home of Calvin Phillips. From the outside in, Calvin, it doesn't look good. Okay, okay. well that's great because the information on the discs, that will speak for itself. Just two weeks after this recording, Cal, his wife Pam, and their neighbor, Ed Dancero, would be murdered. Cal's body, found by investigators in his home, shot to death. Pam and Ed's bodies discovered in Pam's burned out car nearby. A day later, a SWAT team raided the home of Army Major Christian Kit Martin, who was also detained for days by military investigators and then released. But after that, no arrests, no explanation. But a Channel 4 I-Team investigation has discovered how all of these people are linked beyond just being neighbors, and more importantly, who linked them. I never imagined anything like this would happen to me. For the first time, the woman who connects them all is speaking out, but with one condition. You've even asked us not to reveal where we are right now. Yes. I'm scared for my children. Joan Harmon is the ex-wife of Kit Martin, a relationship, she says, defined by this 911 call. Screaming in my face and threatening me. In that 911 call and in complaints to the military, Harmon says Martin abused her and her children. Even though in a hearing in family court in 2012, a judge denied a domestic violence order. Ms. Martin, you did not meet the burden of proof. Harmon says the Phillips did believe her, especially Pam. She was just like a second mom to me and Cal, he was incredible. In fact, Harmon says after she moved out, she, the Phillips, and Ed Dancero took a concealed carry class together. The organizer of that class confirms the four did take that class. They told me they didn't want me to be afraid and they, they weren't going to be afraid, but we all needed to take measures to protect ourselves. In fact, when Harmon went back to the house to gather her things, Cal Phillips went with her. And she says among some of her blankets, they found these, a military computer and discs marked secret. Cal was convinced I had to keep them and turn them in that he shouldn't have those things. And at one point, Phillips and Harmon took all of this to the FBI. Not long after, Kit Martin learned he was the subject of a court martial, not only for physical and sexual abuse, but also mishandling classified materials. Martin then hired private investigators who went to speak with Phillips, including why he went to the FBI with the military equipment. When I saw the amount of classified, I'm looking at that and I'm going, this ain't supposed to be out here. About Joan Harmon's relationship with Martin. She said she was afraid of him, that she was concerned for her well. But also this about her claims of abuse. 
During this, she never told you that he's molesting the kids? No, I don't ever remember he's that. He's raped me? No. He sodomized me? No. He beats me? No. Knowing he was scheduled to testify in the court martial, in the recorded questioning, Phillips would not elaborate what he intended to say. I'll explain that on a stand I won't do here. But there was something else, something that at times agitated Phillips. When the private investigators asked if he was having an affair with Joan Harmon. What they're going to say to you, Calvin, is that you had an extramarital affair with this woman, and that provides a motive to set him up. But the problem is, how do you create something? you got to have the resources. There are questions if you had an affair with Cal Phillips. No. My ex-husband's been trying to say that since I left him. But Harmon knows there are more questions about her past. Court records show while she was married to Martin, she was also married to another man. Did you not plead guilty to bigamy? Yes. I couldn't afford an attorney. What was I going to do? Martin's legal team believes all of this cast suspicion on Harmon and detailed their concerns in an email to police. But Harmon is convinced she knows who killed her neighbors. My ex-husband. You feel like your ex-husband is responsible? Absolutely. Knowing he was a person of interest in the murder at this house and in the cornfield nearby, Kit Martin did something unexpected. He gave his first and only interview to the News 4i team. Live with breaking news. Human remains were found this morning in a burned car. Now a second body has been discovered in Pembroke, Kentucky. News of the murders didn't just shatter the calmness of Pembroke. It also destroyed the future for the only identified person of interest whose home was raided by a SWAT team. What can I go back to? You know, I'm ruined. Major Christian Kit Martin knows what you've heard, how across the street his neighbor Calvin Phillips was found shot to death in his home, how the bodies of Calvin's wife Pam and neighbor Ed Dancero were discovered in Pam's burned out car, how the very next day a SWAT team burst into Martin's home, military investigators seized him and kept him in custody for days. I get taken down like a terrorist, he also knows what the News 4i team first exposed. How despite a family court ruling that it didn't happen, his ex-wife Joan says he beat her. How she and Calvin Phillips found a military computer and secret disks in the home and turned it over to the FBI. How it all led to military charges. And how Cal Phillips was sent to testify in the court martial but was murdered two weeks before it was scheduled to begin. Can you see why people would say, they gotta look at this guy, he's suspicious? Yeah, until you realize the background to that I'm trying to tell you here, you know, that he was my star witness. You heard him right. Martin says Cal Phillips was to be his star witness in the court martial. My star witness is now gone. But how can that be? After all, Joan Harmon says Cal knew about her allegations of abuse. He stands to serve a lot of time in prison for abusing us, and these were people that were potential adult witnesses to his crimes. And it was Cal Phillips who admitted in recorded conversations with Martin's own private investigators that he took the military computer and disks. What'd you do with it? I turned it into the FBI. But Martin says you have to listen to the recordings and what Phillips said when he was asked about Joan's claims of abuse. Hearing this, she never told you that he's molesting the kids? No, I don't ever remember he's that. He's raped me? No. He sodomized me? No. He beats me? No. And just went down the whole line and just refuted everything. And it was like them golden. But Martin knows he's under criminal investigators' microscope as well. His home raided by a SWAT team, his vehicle seized by police, and earlier this month, a search warrant issued for his DNA. Do you worry that you will be prosecuted in the murder case? No, I have no worries about that. Martin says Harmon has more to be concerned about than him. He says it would have come out in testimony that Cal Phillips wasn't an unbiased source. 
This disclosure of evidence from the government reads that evidence exists that Harmon and Phillips may have been engaged in a relationship, even though both deny it, and that a former police officer in Pembroke accidentally walked in on Phillips, having sex with an unidentified woman in Phillips' warehouse, and that 15 minutes later, the officer saw Harmon walk out. Phillips was even asked about their relationship by investigators. One of the things, the information that the Army has is the fact that apparently you were having an affair with Joe. Okay. Okay, that's what they have. And so what? Okay, well, <laughs> it, it brings in the motive. And that's why I say, whenever you look at the disc and you look at the information, that stuff stands on its own. Harmon denies the allegations. My ex-husband's been trying to say that since I left him. Her motivation was revenge. The clash between the two set to play out in a court-martial. In fact, when Harmon was granted a military protective order in 2015, it reads, Major Martin has been identified as a person of interest in the death investigation of a witness who was set to testify. If he was your star witness, why would they have suspected you, even as a person of interest, in his murder? I don't know. What I do know is that a woman called a newspaper or a radio station or something and said that Major Chris Martin in the yellow house across the street, there's evidence of the murders there, he did it. If you go there, you'll find it. But the case would then grow cold. Investigators would not answer questions, only saying that they were testing evidence for DNA. But we would continue to uncover new startling revelations, this time from the Phillips family themselves. A path designed to inspire hope for the Phillips family leads to mixed emotions. It's a beautiful gesture, it's amazing, and we're so thankful for it. But it's hard, it's so hard. It's a classic, it's beautiful. She's got wings. Friends of Pam Phillips funded the memorial as a way to remember the woman whose picture was last taken by a coworker in her car. Roughly 12 hours later, her body and that of her next door neighbor, Ed Dancero, would be found in the charred remains of that car. That picture is 100% pure Pam. It captures the essence of Pam. Yet on the other hand, that picture is haunting. You realize that within a short amount of time, she would be gone. I'm a rich person because of my parents. I'm also found murdered, Pam's husband, Cal, shot to death in the family's home. My family. Somebody has attacked my family and brutally attacked my family. Tonight, this family is talking for the first time about what happened before the murders. Can you tell me if your parents ever felt like they were in danger? My parents felt that they were being surveilled, watched. Matt Phillips says his mother, Pam, told him that she saw their across-the-street neighbor, Army Major Kit Martin, watching and walking in the fields by their home. Our investigation found while Martin was divorcing his wife, Joan, Cal and Pam offered her and her children a place to stay in their rental property. And in the moving process, Cal came upon these discs labeled secret. Cal Phillips and Joan Harmon turned them in to the FBI, which led to Martin's court-martial. And two weeks before that court-martial was to begin, Cal, his wife, and friend were murdered. While Martin has never been charged, even his ex-wife told me she suspected he did it. You feel like your ex-husband is responsible? Absolutely. An accusation Martin denied to the I-team. Do you worry? that you will be prosecuted in the murder case? No, I have no worries about that. Kit Martin knows that there is suspicion surrounding him. His ex-wife believes that he killed your parents. Do you suspect that as well? We're concerned, and I think it makes a lot of sense to be concerned. But our investigation has now found there was even more. Cal Phillips didn't just turn in the disks to federal investigators, but also this photograph of Joan Harmon's son Harmon's children would testify in the court-martial that Kit Martin abused them. Are you concerned that what your father discovered ultimately led to his death? How could I not be? You know, I think 
you have to look at this and go, is there a connection? And it turns out a member of the Phillips family would ultimately testify at the court martial. After the murders, Diana, Cal's sister, went to her brother's rental property where Joan briefly lived and found another disc with Martin's name and labeled secret. She turned that in to investigators and was called to testify. My brother should be here. Calvin should be here. My brother found something important. At the court martial, Martin was found guilty of mishandling classified material and simple assault. Convictions directly linked to what Cal Phillips had provided. If somebody killed a federal witness, this is not just an attack on our family. This is an attack on the entire legal system. Obviously, those audio tapes raised questions about your parents' relationship and then Cal's relationship to Joan. Do you have any question that there is more to the story that you don't know? My parents were about to celebrate another anniversary, and my parents loved each other. I don't care. I don't think something occurred. I don't know. My dad's not here to defend himself. The only proof the Phillips have are photographs, evidence, they say, of how Cal felt about Pam. He loved her more than anything, and she loved him. She adored him. Three and a half years would pass, but then on May 11th, the man our investigation linked to the murder victims was arrested, and it made national news, not only because of the arrest, but because of what Kit Martin was doing for a living. It's a long anticipated mugshot for the Phillips family. Justice delayed is justice denied. And we were denied justice for three and a half years. Their former neighbor now charged with triple homicide. The Kentucky Attorney General not saying what led to his arrest after all these years. I can't comment on the evidence, um, but, but, I, but we believe that this will be a very compelling case. But it was what Martin was wearing in the mugshot that stunned the nation, a pilot's uniform. In fact, Martin was arrested at the Louisville airport, where he was about to take off on a flight. The Phillips family wonders, how did a man convicted in a federal court-martial of battery of a child and mishandling military information become a pilot in 2018? In many ways, my parents uh, died for this court-martial. Uh, they were executed for it. In a statement to the I-Team, American Airlines said, all of us at American Airlines and PSA Airlines are deeply saddened to have learned about these allegations from 2015. Our team was made aware of the indictment after his arrest at the Louisville International Airport. They added that Martin did undergo a criminal background check, but that his criminal background would not disqualify him from being a commercial pilot. The I-Team consulted with legal experts and found in most states, including Tennessee, an assault conviction of a minor is a felony. And look at the convictions that will keep you from becoming a pilot, felony assault. So how did Martin then come to work for American Airlines? Here's what you need to know. A conviction in military court can be translated differently in a criminal background check, depending on the state where the military base is located. In this case, the conviction of battery of a child in a court martial ultimately translated in the criminal background check to simple assault, and that's not a felony. It's why when he was arrested, despite being convicted in military court of causing these injuries to a child, Kit Martin was wearing his pilot's uniform. When Kit Martin would appear in court, an indictment claimed that the man who professed his innocence to the I-Team was in fact a murderer who tried to conceal his crimes. As he looked across the courtroom, there they were, his former stepson, the son of the couple who once lived across the street, all here to see the former Army Major and pilot for a subsidiary of American Airlines, now shackled and wearing an orange jumpsuit, charged with triple murder. There's a lot of emotion with this whole thing, um, as any of you would understand. As he was flying around the country, the investigation was ongoing, leading to this indictment, claiming Martin shot all three, tried to burn the house where Cal's body lay, and took Pam and Ed's bodies to her car and set it on fire. 
In court, Martin's attorney entered a not guilty plea, knowing that Martin faces a charge of complicity, implying that Martin worked with another person to commit the murders. He maintains he's innocent, uh, wants the case to move forward so they can find out hopefully who really did it. As of now, no one else is charged. This family bracing for whatever comes next. It's hard, but again, this is a, a, a right step in the right direction. Kit Martin is now in the Christian County Jail being held with no bond, not far from the house where he once lived. The friends and families of the murder victims vow to be there for every step of the court case. And so will the News 4i team. Thanks for watching.